Welcome to Lifestyle Profiles. I'm Wendy McGowan Ellis, and this week our guests are from other media companies. Yes, we make friends. So we have guests here from the Dallas Business Journal and American Inno. So we have Ollie Chanhawk from the Hi, Dallas Wendy. Business Journal and Kevin yeah, Cummings from American Inno. And I wanted to have these guys on because they are expanding their coverage of entrepreneurism and innovation up here into Frisco. So this is super exciting and I want to hear all about it. But first, we want to know your backgrounds, your personal backgrounds. So I guess I'll start. Go for well, it. Certainly, we are friends, yes. uh, and we're, we're, we're happy to participate. Uh, I've been with the Business Journal 12 years. Uh, I started in Charlotte, actually. I was six years in Charlotte, and I started from the bottom, I, or if you want to call it that. I sold subscriptions for almost three years, and, and actually, that helped me kind of learn the business and really right. everything we do, navigate editorial and advertising. So three years of, of uh, subscriptions, three years in advertising. I moved into a corporate role with the business journals and worked almost as an internal consultant. Uh, really cool, because it gave me a global view of all the business journals nationwide. I did that for a year and then was promoted into the publisher role at the Triad Business Journal, which is in Greensboro, North Carolina. So Triad, Triad's, so the triangle. Triangle is Raleigh, Triad is Greensboro, Winston, High Point. Oh, yeah, I didn't it's, know they're, they're, okay. they're next door neighbors. But okay. Yeah, so, so Triad. <laughs> That's quite confusing. <laughs> Kind of okay. confusing. And so it was one of our smaller, smaller business journals, and okay. we had some success in really, really getting that, that business doing fairly well. Uh, and then I've been here now in Dallas for Friday will be a year. Oh, congratulations! Yeah, yeah thank you. Okay, okay, very good, Kevin. Uh, I've been in Dallas a little longer. Uh, I was born and raised in Plano. Ah, um, oh, nice. Yeah, so okay. I've been I've been around for a while. Um, I, I started with uh, Star Local Media, which covers a lot of the yes. uh, suburban papers around here. So. I've hopped around a lot into the newsrooms um, around here, but uh, I stepped out of reporting for a little while and then taught journalism and English in Mesquite oh. um, and uh, just needed a change. And uh, there was an opening uh, with American Inno and uh, now I'm here. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay. So I want to hear about how a little bit of the history of the Dallas Business Journal, a little bit of the history of American Inno, and then how this alliance came together, how that happened. Sure, just a little bit of the history, right? I'm yes. not going to start at yes. 70. <laughs> oh, okay. so, so yes, we're 40-something we're years old. Right. We, we, we have done very well. As you know, we cover local business news. Um, our world has shifted a little bit in that mm -hmm. our, our uh, digital and our events platforms have grown significantly. We, we, we have a tech-specific reporter, super successful, very talented, but he covers typically big tech mm -hmm. and, and sometimes dabbles in innovation. What we were leaving out is that, that, uh, that um, innovation ecosystem, that startup ecosystem yes. that we tend to miss. We cover bigger business. This market, as you know, grows so quickly that it's hard for us to do that. Uh, and it made a lot of sense that that segment really is begging for coverage and, and really, really not just an aggregator, but really creating content and, and creating an environment where these people can connect. Um, so what better way to do that than by launching another, another I say another American Inno platform because we have them in different cities. Okay. Um, DFW and, and, and North Texas really calls for it. And so, so we saw a need um, with several of our partners, UT Dallas, Accenture, and Thomson Reuters. They wanted us to, to introduce this. Uh, and we started, we found Kevin, of course, who is, is dedicated to this platform. Uh, and we're just getting ready to ramp up. It's starting to become a bigger thing. Our first event will actually be November 6th, but it is a digital and events platform only. So that's okay. kind of how how it came to be. Um, okay. Right. And there's a lot to it. And Kevin can elaborate a little bit. Yeah. Uh, American Inno has been around for, I think, about 12 years, maybe a little more. Um, we started... In Chicago or Boston? Uh, okay. I don't really know that. But, uh, not here. <laughs> not here, no. Uh, so, yeah, I think the Chicago one actually is where we started, and it's been around for more than 10 years now. Um, and so, yeah, um, there was a lot of interest. We have a uh, Austin you know, outlet, and um, so because of that, we had a lot of people interested in the North Texas region. Um, our founding partners, Accenture, Thomson Reuters, UTD, um, asked us to come in here. Actually, I think they came to Frisco to uh, check some things out mm -hmm. before yes. uh, before they even launched. So yeah, um, yeah, we launched September third. Um, our first event will be November sixth at Capital Factory. Okay, it'll be kind of our launch party. But uh, yeah, it's it's been a month. It's month and a half. It's been crazy, but. Uh, We've been growing, been meeting a lot of people. It's been great. Awesome. So what kind of stories are you both looking forward to seeing out of Frisco? So, so I'm, a, I'm a relatively new resident to Frisco, and I'm obviously excited to be a part of it. And, and it, it's all the buzz, right? So when right. I look at our content on the Business Journal site, we cover 
um, Dallas, Fort Worth, all of North Texas and really surrounding area. We, we write a lot about Frisco. And so that, that to me is very exciting. I'm excited to live here. We're looking forward to covering, uh, you know, not just residential growth, but people moving to town, but also the fact that uh, a significant critical mass of, of headquarters, businesses are going to the Star and moving even into East Frisco. There's quite a bit of quite a bit of things ha happening here. Right. Um, a lot of jobs, a lot of stuff in that direction. So it's not just, you know, we, we hear a lot about people moving to town and, and the people will come, but the fact that these headquarters are coming to town, you know, representing the business journal, that's, that's what we write about and that's what we cover. So it's very exciting to hear all these announcements for new companies headed this way. Right, right. So, Kevin, what with regard to startup space, venture capitalist space, people who are in that entrepreneurial world, mm. what about coverage on that? Yeah, um, I mean, so like you're saying, Frisco's growing. I think I wrote a story last week about it being like <laughs> named one of the fastest growing cities. Um, and so, yeah, because like this whole Plano kind of Frisco area does have a lot of these larger companies, there right. are a lot of smaller kind of companies popping up around there, especially on like the tech and innovation side, because they just have the, the flexibility and maneuverability mm -hmm. to kind of test things out a little more. Mm -hmm. Right. And um, you're starting to kind of see that really all around the DFW area. And so that's kind of where we step in. We kind of complement the business journal's coverage, um, focusing more on kind of the businesses before they get to the level of coverage at the uh, business journal. Right. Okay. So what's the most important thing that our audience should know about you guys and how you're looking to make an impact here with both of your organizations here in Frisco? You start? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so so, so um, looking to make an impact, you know, we've we've been very intentional about getting out of just Dallas. Uh, you know, we, we are on the coverage uh, on the coverage side. We cover all of North Texas very well. I think we can, you know, as, as I mentioned earlier, the event presence is increasing. And, and we can stand to do a little more programming up this way. We, I say up this way, I live up here, but it's right. just some of the engaging the community, we've really shifted into not just informing the public, but, but really trying to make those intentional connections with business leaders. I think we can do some more programming up here. So that I, I'm, I'm pretty sure your audience will be interested to hear that we'll, you'll, you'll hopefully see the DBJ logo up here a little more when awesome. it comes to live events, those kind of things. One thing I want to say too is that we're more accessible than people think. I, yes. I, I've noticed that um, some folks hold the business journal in high regard to the point where they feel like they can't reach out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I reach out anytime, reach out to me directly. I'm happy to connect. I think we want to shift that perception a little bit and be more plugged into the community. That's great to know. Yeah. So, Kevin, yeah, and then um, I want to come back to something okay, that you said. Sure. So, Kevin, go ahead. No, it was, a, it was a conscious decision to make it North Texas, you know, rather than like Dallas or Fort Worth. Um, so, it, it is sometimes an, an effort to make sure that you reach the other cities, but right. um, that is like kind of our main thing is like we are not just Dallas specific. Um, I think the other cool thing about Inno is like we're a small team. I think there's like 24 of us around the country. So I am kind of the point person. I'm writer, editor, everything else. You know, <laughs> Texas, everything. You know? Take out the trash. <laughs> yeah, you're so, like me. <laughs> so with that, I mean, it kind of goes along with what you're saying about accessibility. I mean, I, I try to make sure that I'm, I'm always out in the community. And um, yeah, I mean, basically if people need anything or have questions about North Texas, you know, like I, I want them to know that like I'm, I'm here and I'm yeah. very much available. Um, I think the other cool thing about like the NO network is we have 14 different locations and so we're able to really easily communicate. And so part of what we can also do is help connect businesses with VCs in mm -hmm. different areas. So we kind of have a whole network, like we focus on North Texas, but we have connections across the country. I think that's one of the key um, assets that media companies have is being that connector. Like mm -hmm. you just said, you know, you're the ones writing the stories. We're the ones telling the stories about people here in Frisco. And I find myself constantly making connections between business owner to business owner or potential big customer to another person in the community or a nonprofit, etc. So I love hearing that that's kind of your mission as well is to be that connector up here. Thank you both so much for being with us today. Ollie, Thank you, Wendy. Dallas Business Journal, Thank Kevin, you. American Inno. That wraps it up here, guys. You're hearing from the best of the reporting that is coming from Dallas and putting another spotlight on all of us here in Frisco. Thank you guys so much for Thanks, being here you. again.